Hi, my name is Edwin Nelson. In this video, I'm going to teach you about power chords. I will explain what is a power chord, why you should care about power chords, as well as I will teach you a fun exercise that will make it easier to use power chords in improv-like settings. What is a power chord, you may ask? A power chord is a simple chord made up of the root and the fifth note of a major or minor scale in any key. Or simply put, this. The chord is designed to be moved around and can be put on any string to create any octave. While power chords sound cool, they can also fill in for any other chord. While it might not sound as good as the original chord, it can be a quick fix for any chords that you don't know or just haven't had time to practice. Also, since the chord doesn't use the third note of the scale, it is neither major or minor, which is one less thing to think about. If you wanted to take it one step further, you could turn it into this version of the power chord for an extra root note and a fuller sounding chord. For the remainder of the video, I will show you three exercises of varying skill difficulties. Each will improve your ability with the power chords, as well as improve your ability to improv a good rhythm on the spot. Feel free if you feel overwhelmed at all by any of the exercises I'm showing you to just pause, practice the exercise you're comfortable with, and come back at a later time when you're ready. For this first exercise, you'll be making riffs with your power chords. I would advise sticking to a major or minor scale. If you're not very familiar with your major or minor scale, I'd recommend just keeping your root notes on the dots on your guitar on the E or A string. While it might not seem like a lot of notes, you can still make some very cool riffs with it. For this next exercise, you're going to do a power chord riff and then a single note melody. You may use any scale you want for the single note melody, or I will put a pentatonic scale at the very end of this section. I'd advise putting that up at the third fret and either ending or starting there. Once you're finished, your riff should sound a little bit like this. For this final exercise, you're going to do what you did in the previous exercise. However, every single time that you go through your riff, I want you to change up your single note melody. Try to keep the timing about the same and just have fun with it. 